The time is early October. In New England, this marks the time where the leaves start changing colors and birds are starting to think about heading south for the winter. All is quiet on this Connecticut landscape. One can only hear the sounds of the leaves rustling in the wind. Until suddenly, a thud as a walnut makes impact with the ground. This is the seed of a black walnut tree, one of the lesser known trees of the eastern U.S. Until now. On October 11th, 2023, the University of Connecticut's top black walnut experts set out to uncover its secrets. In the mountains of Carolina, lived the girl that I love, fairest of maidens, an angel from above. With all my heart and soul, I tried to win her hand, swore to always love her until the very end. In the valley of green pastures, the soul is set free. I'll always be with her in the black walnut tree. The black walnut tree, also known as Juglans nigra, is native to North America and has long been used for its fine, straight-grained wood to make furniture, cabinets, and gun stocks. Their wood it has a beautiful dark color and very grainy and just a beautiful, beautiful wood that is used for many different things. It is recognizable by its compound leaves and large green nuts. These beautiful trees produce a wonderful walnut that can be used for many different things. In addition to food, the nuts can also have medicinal uses, though the squirrels often get to them first. The range of the tree extends from the east coast as far west as Kansas, and our team has located an area where black walnut trees are said to have been sighted. Hi, right, friends. If we were going around uh, at different elevations and different sites, we looked about uh, four different sites, and we're seeing the difference between uh, black walnuts and how much seeds they produce. Upon arrival at the site, the team begins their search for the black walnut tree, but finding one proves far more difficult than first expected. And we just wanted to do our research and see what produces the best and most amount of seed in these four different sites and what would be the best condition for these wonderful trees. The team conducts an extensive search of the area, but still no black walnut trees. But the researchers are not ready to quit yet. The quest continues as they ascend to higher ground. It was starting to seem like perhaps our tree isn't here after all, when suddenly, up through the leaves, black walnuts. They found one. And once one was located, it didn't take long to find one. So what we're doing here today is we found a nice uh, specimen charting out both the height of our specimen, the average amount of seeds within a transect, identifying the type of soil, using several different maps to identify the elevation of the species, and getting as much information as we can about it. One of the first things the team noticed was the lack of other trees around the specimen. This could be due to the fact that black walnut trees contain a chemical known as juglone, which is able to suppress the growth of other plants. While this doesn't necessarily directly benefit the tree itself, in theory, it might give its offspring an advantage in the great struggle for resources. After long hours of rigorous, extensive, and thorough testing, the team was able to conclude that the black walnut tree grows best in an open canopy with loamy soil and at higher elevations, they found that taller and larger trees were able to produce more seeds and disperse the seeds further. The research will help scientists better understand why black walnut trees exist where they do and what kind of habitat will need to be conserved to ensure their survival. As compared to most of the other trees on campus, the black walnut tree is something special. What other tree has nuts as nice as this? Since I was a little boy, I've always dreamed of black walnut trees wandering out in the forest just black walnuts everywhere. I became disconnected from that for a little while until I came here. You know, during our first lab this semester, this was the first tree we looked at. One of the first trees we saw around campus. And really holds a special place in my heart because of that. Going on these adventures back in these forest dances is reconnecting with myself. I couldn't ask for a better team, and I'm so thankful we're out here. Satisfied with their contribution to the world's understanding of these amazing trees, the team sets off in search of their next great scientific adventure. Always be with her, the black ball.
on a tree.